Alright, so now that we have cut our t-shirt fabric, I am going to show you how to turn this into an infinity scarf. It's going to be no sew. We're going to be using liquid stitch for that. We'll get a few of these things out of the way. These are what we're going to use to embellish it later. All we need to do is use a little bit of liquid stitch. This is an adhesive that is uh, flexible and it's permanent and it dries clear so you're not even going to notice it. We're going to just put some here along the seam of the cotton. And we're going to fold this over. Instead of doing it, instead of doing it uh, end to end like this, we're going to make make sure there's like a little make it turn it make it so that it goes into a loop. And we're just going to stick those together. And we're going to be pretty gentle with this until it dries. You want to check both sides and make sure your seam isn't all wonky here. Alright, you guys are going to have to pardon me for uh, that second take here. My daughter came upstairs and made me. So, let's jump right back into where we were. Um, we have glued our seam with our liquid stitch. And now, we are just going to embellish it. Now, I've, uh, what I did with the, with the um, t-shirt material is I just stretched it out a little bit. That will help roll the seams so that they don't look so unfinished. And I marked off um, a right where I want to put the chains on here. You can kind of put these wherever you want to. I have chains that are between 22 and 28 inches. So just for a, a nice average, I made uh, these holes 24 inches apart. Well, I marked where we're going to make holes 24 inches apart. And all I did is I just put a little dot here to remind myself where. I'm going to do a little pinch of the fabric here. Fold it in half. I'm just going to poke a bead reamer through. You can use anything here. You can use a pin. I would not uh, use scissors because that's going to create really too big of a hole. But um, just poke a hole here just enough so that we can get a jump ring through. Grab my pliers here. I'm going to get that through both sides and kind of scrunch that material up. Now what we're going to do next here Let's just add on our chains. Now you can get chains, uh, you can either go to the craft store and pick them up there, you can pick them up brand new. You can um, salvage them off of uh, broken jewelry. You can go thrift shopping. There are a lot of places that you can find chain. And the length is really going to depend on you. Um, this is I'm just using what I found in my stash, that's kind of how I came up with the lengths that I'm using today, but you can really use whatever you like. It doesn't have to be 20 some inches if you've only got 18. If you want to use an old necklace, you can certainly just add one necklace. But I found an assortment of chains that I really like, so we're just going to add those on here. I added those all onto my jump ring, and we're just going to twist it close. Do the same thing over here on the other side. Fold that fabric in half. And use the bead reamer and poke a hole. Hopefully I'm on camera here. I tend to think while I'm working and pull it away. Thread this jump ring through. And connect the other ends of these chains on. Straighten these out here, okay. chains. I'm using a 10 millimeter jump ring. 
And that's not absolutely critical, but that's what I needed for all of these chains. You just want to make sure you're picking a ring that's large enough. I'm trying to find all my ends here. Find a ring that's large enough to accommodate whatever chain that you're using. now draped with chains. I'll show you how it looks on. 